general is so good against Drow. Drow has no way of dealing with Vanta style. She has no way oh, of dealing what? with Oh, what? The air, but that was not intended for him. A terrorize comes out. Ninja Bug can find his way to get. Echo Slam, though, is there onto one. Ravage to fall. Only gonna hit two. Don't know if they actually enough damage to take anybody out, but Jabs does fall. Sonic Wave, HFN attempting to TP out. The right clicks don't look like they will suffice. Nope, Sonic, or the Scream of Pain is there. And the Shadow Hawk is available now. to do damage. From the backside, Ice Ice Ice, there's the Haunt. He's gonna come in onto King Artie, that's a lot of lost damage. He's gonna miss the Spectral Dagger though. Ice 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 again with the Shadow Realm. Oh, really and good this should be more than enough damage to take out two more members of Pain Gaming. That's four dead in trade of only the Earthshaker. Too late. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Terrorize is there, though. It's gonna hit on one hero. Nice positioning from Pain Gaming. Here comes Ice Ice Ice, but HFN isn't gonna be able to get the, the Aegis of the Immortal. Ramble Maze comes out. This is not the area you wanna be in. Sonic Wave coming in to finish off here. It's a two for nothing right now. And it looks like Mineski is just cleaning up despite giving up the Roche. Oh, great. They even find the HFN kill it's in Aegis. their own jungle. That's the Aegis. But you have to think they have enough heroes as long as they can get one to save the enchant totem. Nice timing. Shadow Strike. This is just ridiculous. Mineski is just cleaning up left and right. 22 to 7, 12k lead. Let's say there's no history between the two members that are playing Locker yeah. Crusaders. But you have you can see each other's faces. Yeah. Is there any skill involved? Uh-oh. The fight's breaking out, Shan. Why are you talking about rock, paper, scissors when there's a fight breaking out? KB terrorizes there. Looks like Death Ward's gonna get a little bit of damage, but that's a lot of maladic coming out. Onto Tiger, and it looks like he will fall one way or the other. In fact, the first one to do so without using Ravage. Two dead for pain, and a nice double fissure. One canceling King RD's TP, and that's just going to be GG. Yeah. Can't blame them. Mineski taking game one in style, one could say. Yeah, I. Uh, I mean, he really needs a blink deck. He needs some way to initiate to be able to get these back. That, these back walls off. I think he has to go blink. I don't think this hood or pipe is oh, yeah. Okay, the Requiem comes out. Not that much damage, actually. Stampede. Does mitigate a lot, though. Yep, Stampede putting him in a pretty good position. Now there's Strike coming out. Looks like Jazz can take the brunt of that damage. But here comes the Shark. Two dead right off the bat for Pain Gaming. And Centaur somehow lives through this engagement. And Pada looks to be next on the list, as that is going to be three dead in the blink of an eye for Pain Gaming. And this should be a free Roche. If not more, they could Mineski. go down mid if they wanted to. Shadow Fiend is very healthy, and they have Pugna as well. HFN is X marked. He's going to get torrented, standing still, <laughs> yep. eating a treat. Yeah, we've seen Falling this time and time again. Jabs is taunting. Who gets the kill? Let's let's make some bets. It's going to be okay. Oh, I wasn't going to say. It's that big BKB plus one item for for Sven. He has that as why the BKB in the quick buy mid one. He has caught up. He's got the hand of might. He's got the four staff ready to go. But he is going to get jumped on. God strength. They decrep him. The another breath. Blast and life drain actually just makes him explode. Shackles now. The Omni Clash coming in. Oh, RTZ may be in trouble. The Echo Slam as well. They've got plenty of damage to death. It's going to be three for EG. Secret art cleaning up. Yapsor gets a double kill. That is the blink reveal and beautifully done from him. Nicely done. I mean, just look at these sentries coming out from Team Secret. They're everywhere around the pit. Oh, they found Misery. Good force away. There's the pit of Malice. Fisher is there. Misery's still in trouble. The cold snap. Now the Chain Frost got to come through. It'll take down Yaps or Misery will fall instead as well. It's a one for one trade. The Chain Frost kept bouncing. Now jumping in RT. Oh, got the Stone Hammer on it too. The Cleaving blows him up. It's a double kill. They're looking for more. Bot is going to get chased down. Nether blasted up, life drained down, one more auto attack, it's the Atos, and they give the triple kill to RTZ. And they're gonna head right into the pit, a 4 for one trade, and Misery is A-OK -okay with that. Ready in 20 seconds, not quite yet, but they can skewer if need be. They'll check for a shot, and they'll see that he's a little bit low. EG want to force something, especially with his extra system and the Warlock Golem. And in fact, again, like we talked about, that RP is going to be up momentarily. And here, he's going to pop the exorcism for this, and Ace is going to go ahead and throw the chakra from the side. So of the bad. Here we go. He has no stacks. They've got a great time. silence fear. Or, excuse me, by the jumps and it gets dropped down. What a silence coming. The flame fury. Who got the Aegis? It's RTZ. They're still taking the fight. Poppy's in trouble. He'll get dropped. Mid on the back line, looking for fear. He's going to get Quiver Caves up the exorcism, bringing him down as well. It's going to be three dead for Secret, plus the Aegis going to EG. It's now a two for three if they lose to Mail. Ace, very tough to bring down. RTZ is low, but there's the obvious line. The critical, a double kill for RTZ, four dead. And they get the Aegis as well, along with Roshan. What a silence to start that fight that for fear. was so good. Get to the next stage of the game, where they can start forcing some of these buildings and take the fight to the enemy.
BG would like to find a pick off. They have found Secret who have smoked up. Yeah, sword has been voided up in silence as well. RP Sumil cancels it, didn't get it off in time. The Omni Slash going, Ace in trouble. He's just dead already. The Omni Slash from Arteezy does more than enough work in these fights. Misery trying to find Fata. They have the golem available if they want to use it. He's going to try to lose Europe and John Way on the other side. Puppy getting caught. RP on a two from Sumail. The skewer back as well. And EG, it looks like they've won this fight. Three for nothing. Might even be a four. And the void comes in from Crit. All four dead from Secret. And now with this extra sim, they might be even. They're trying to figure out whether or not EG are going to grab Roche at this point. Will they back up? Will they take Roche on? Will they grab the Aegis? I mean, that's really all they need to do, I feel like, to finish this game off. Yeah, that's probably just going to be it. Once you have these two lanes in, you just have to sit there and oh, eventually keep your puppy. Puppy. I believe you might be dead. Oh, good boulder smash from the App Store, but I, I'm not sure if this is going to save him. Good dream pull onto three. There's going to be a waning rift as well. A lot of damage coming in the chocolate, but now they reset the fight with the golem drop down. The upheaval is there as well, and RTZ is too tanky and does too much damage. The Blade Fury. Soon now will skewer Ace away. He'll try to temper chain out, but he's in trouble. The chakra not doing nearly enough. Good boulder smash, but it's GG called. And EG will take game number two. Wow, so it's game three. Secret go. They're doing some serious work. The armor reduction. This thing might fall quickly if they're not careful. Shrine. Oh, it's gonna be easy. The hog will see this. It looks like yep. Ace needs to be careful here. So too will Puppy. It's time really fast. Fear though. is up. They need to get in the pit. EG won't be there in time. There's the Ace up. The Mystic Flare. Sumail is in trouble getting caught and almost killed. And one more attack will do the job. There's the Eclipse. BKB is going. Arteezy is low. Fear now at the fray. And Ace, his BKB about to wear off. And they're gonna try to turn this. Fear taking a lot of damage here. He needs to back up. Sumail will buy back. Ace called down now. Two dead on the side of Secret. Buyback coming in from Sumail. Ace about to fall. They'll get the Aegis, but that's it for now. Yapsor nearby as well. Really low on mana at this point, though. Not much he can do. The Roar is there. Good swap back for Puppy. The Axe is hitting. Puppy's gonna get dropped. A double kill for Sumail. Another buyback. It's gonna be Fata. They want to chase Ace down if they possibly can. They're so fast. Trip with another board. Good press the attack. The Axe is gonna jump them. It's Fata. Center Conqueror stop. He'll fall as well. Oh my god. It's gonna be everybody going down for Secret. Yapsor will be next. The Wild Axe is coming in. One more auto attack to do the job, and it does. Midwood coming in the break, trying to life drain and get crit, and he will. And now EG will have to back up Sumail super low. He breaks up to the high ground, avoids the nether blast, and somehow survives. Now trying to get away, and it looks like he will be able to. And another Centaur Conqueror stop for good measure on to mid one. Ooh. For now. And the actor also picked up a uh, Aghanim Scepter 2, which of course he was eyeing since the beginning of the game, but now he does have yep. it. Now he's going to be disappointed with how underwhelming it is. <laughs> You know, he's gonna have hopes and dreams. Roar coming in, they found Ace. Can they bring him down? The Eclipse comes through. Good swap for Puppy. He's in trouble. The Super Wars drops as well. Fear pops the BKB. They've got oh. Fata on top of it. And Ace, his BKB running low. He's got to run. The Nether Blast is there. Everybody chasing. Mystic Flare, the call down drops up. A lot of damage being done. EG need to back up and be careful. A double kill for Midwalk of Misery gets off the shackles beautifully. RTZ trying to fight so this. They're gonna get a double kill for him. They're trying to get the kill. It's the Requiem that gets Ace in the end. It's a four for four trade. And Midwalk almost gets Misery, who blinks out just in time. Wow. Oh my god. That's Midwood a had a slaughter. sick nether blast there. Yep. The mystic flares were coming out too from Yapsor. No, Misery, don't oh, walk up. Get out of there. Oh, oh no. Wanted, wanted the, gem the gem so badly. He wanted the gem. On the side of Mineski, and that'll be the big fight that they're going to have to try and win from the side of Secret, but it helps if Disruptor's dead. Yeah, and they're going to find him here. The hook comes out. Fada, he's got the skewer available. They use the finger. They blow up the Disruptor. Now they've used the Stampede, and they're going to try to find something. RP onto two from Fada. The skewer back under the tier two tower. They've got damage. Where's the CK coming in? Jax is getting low at this point. They pop the extra send the Wukong's command coming out. Nana in trouble. Get it. Caught and killed three dead. Secret with a great fight now for Mineski will lose, and that is a giant fight. A great RP again from Fada. He's hitting pretty much all of them and skewering back into the tier two tower for them to follow up with the Wukong's command. At this point, Secret are so damn strong they might not even need him. They're going to pop the Wukong's command. They're going to work on the buildings. Nana is in with the exorcism, but look at the slide of fifth searing James doing some serious work. He doesn't get the insta kill, but he has done so much that it's ridiculous, and he blows away that poor Nana. Uh, Death Prophet, not only that, but he will find another in the Centaur. A double kill for him. He is just going ham right now. Oh, no, 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 no. There's the dismember. Can they find the stop the static storm? But it's too little too late. They hook onto Ace. Now he's in. He's going to find the triple kill. And GG is called. And Secret make it look easy in game number one, Trent. Uh, ultra kill there. And mid one is beyond godlike. No one could kill him. Very good at the end of the game there. Finishes out 12, 4, and 14. There is Ravage available. He would love to try and burst down Ice Ice Ice, but obviously a very difficult this target. This exorcism is done. They're going to be able to get off Ravage. Maybe no, not in time. And that will be the Aegis claimed by Mushi and the Eclipse. That's the 
great reincarnation use at the very least. Puppy's just gonna be the martyr for the cause, it looks like. Nate, they're gonna try to fight this. They'll take down this kid with the Illuminate. Now coming in. Ravage coming out. They've caught Nada. He can't get out of the pit at this point. And he's going to fall. He'll use himself up for now. The buyback coming in. That'll be from Ninja Boogie, but it's still two dead already from Maneski. Icarus Dodd coming through from my side. They've lost Fada on the Radiant side, but Ace is still there along with Mid One. They want to continue to chase. They've got the Echo Saber. They've got the pound. They've got the kill. A double for Ace, who is now dominating. And they somehow clean out. They're looking for Mushi. Great force Mid One. The Hurricane Pike, though, for Mushi, pushing him back and keeping him safe. And they cannot find that Luna, who does have the Aegis. Wow. Now they're going to support him with this Tier 3 tower. It's going to be a Tier 3 tower gone. Perhaps more. Ice 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 does have buyback, but it, it looks like Secret. They're not scared. They have the Ravage still. Maneski don't want to commit the Exorcism. They want to try to defend this. Phoenix will buy back finally. There's the Fire being dropped down. The Illuminate, the heal is so good. The Split Shot coming through. They've got the Supernova, but there's the Ravage coming out. They're going to find Ninja Boogie yet again, potentially getting low. They take down the Egg on the back lines as well. Ninja Boogie will escape for now. Nana trying to man fight as best as possible. This PKB go to work, but now it's down. Here comes the Eclipse, though, getting at least one kill. That's put just the reincarnation for now, and Mushi will be next. Mantic will not save his life. They'll follow up with a double kill, getting it. Mushi dropped down, and this should be a five that it will be for Mushi, and another kill on to Jeff. They've taken the racks. They lose to no one for Secret other than the reincarnation from the Raid King, and they are trying to finish the series off in style, taking down the full set of racks. They now have a Scotty as well on the Dusa. Oh, and the giant fountain heal here from the Absorbs. They go right back in. Yeah, they're just illuminating like crazy. They'll take another kill. They will hook Mushi back, but he's slowed up, and they're just going to work in the fountain. Will they die? They're thinking about it. Ace decides not to. Illuminate will come through, and they, they can just stand <laughs> on the Yeah, honestly.